let's see what is next okay this is the value operation or value expression so it is very useful and you will need it in every SAP 7.4 ABAP uh, uh, programs let's check how we can do it so as always we will try to comment this guys and then we will type value operations okay that's the number 17 for us this value expression okay so for that um so let's let's uh, define a type okay i'll i'll show you why we are defining till now we were doing inline but the value you will not identify or recognize inline so we need to define a type so let's define a type begin of ty end of and end of ty view and let's give some random field names i'll say ebln type ebln that is the pure number i'll give a lifner type lifner that's the vendor and then we say any identifier so i want to give some hard coding so i'll say risk type flag okay all right and then what we'll do we'll define an internal table so we'll i said that uh, we have to have internal table otherwise uh, you might not be able to do in inline uh, standard table of dy po and look how we populate the data now dbli so so here comes our value expression so i say that i have a table called iter now i want to put value on the table so value and then i'll put a hash it is important i'll also say i'll show you why hash is important and then i'll give a full stop so here i need to put say multiple rows so i'll put some some rows uh, so rows has to be put in brackets okay this is one row so i'll put another row and then i'll put say another row. three rows will be sufficient and then i want to say hardcore i'll also show dynamically why how we can do it later here but for now to begin with i'll say hardcore now my q number is say 11 my lifner uh, my vendor number is say i'll say uh, any number i'll say vendor vendor one i'll say and then i'll say risk is uh, risk is i'll say blank okay this case uh, blank i'll give it quotes all right similarly for the next one let me copy this guys so yes. for the next one i'll say vendor is say 12 or 21 whatever and the vendor is say sorry that was po this is vendor and i say there is some risk here okay there's some risk here and then i'll copy the same thing i'll say vendor is say 31 oh, sorry PO is 31 and vendor is number 3 and I'll say there is a risk all right so now you'll see in in runtime this table has been populated so if I execute it syntactically it is correct so remember there is no comma be in between rows okay this is one row which is in bracket the second row in bracket this is in third in bracket and outside the main bracket you have a hash so what does this hash do hash means that the um, the type of this table will be of the type of this internal table on the left hand side so left hand side uh, drives the type of the value all right and what is the type of item this is the type which we have already defined so that's the uh, um, importance of hash so now i want to show i want you want to test whether it was really populated or not so we'll just use a simple uh, um, class to show the display okay These are, there is a static uh, method you, you, you I, I hope you already know this if not this is a method and this is the way you can call it okay let's let's execute i'll activate it and now let's execute it so this is the output look so we had evelyn or this is the table where we have this um, po number is 11 21 31 and lifner and where did it come from it came it took the type from this guy all right so let's see the next way of doing using the value express so this is uh, one way of using hash uh, value so value value with hash uh, so hash means hash means um, means the uh, field name field names and type would be from would be derived d e r i e derived or d e r i e derived from 
left hand side left hand side that means uh, i tab table will be the structure of the rows in value hash so the next so what i mean to say that whenever you see a hash followed by a value that means the type of this table in the right hand side will be derived from i tab from the left hand side table which it is assigned now the second type is uh, where we'll use a value without a hash so it should be value with no hash okay so i'll just comment this and also try to comment the above one and i'll just comment this so that we we test it independently so what does uh, how does the syntax look like so for that say i want to say i want to have a data at runtime table runtime table but i i don't know what is the value uh, what will be the structure so i'll get value and then i have to define i i don't want to give a hash okay so if you give a hash then it should this has to be defined on the top so i don't know what to give here so i'll say i'll use this i'll give full stop and then i want to again enter three rows say one two and three but what will the uh, structure of this table will be so if you put here say evlen equals to so I'll, I'll copy all this thing again, okay this this okay i want to copy this uncommented so you see here it it's crying here it's saying that the field value is unknown because what will it do so we just gave value and now uh, sap is not smart enough uh, to understand that this table has to take the value of ablen vendor and risk so what you have to do you have to explicitly tell it that give me a type of some table type so where is the table type i have not defined any table type here so let me define a table type now so i'll, I'll define a types so I'll let me define it before that. types i'll say, say table type uh, i'll say po okay uh, type table of or you can say standard table of or type table of tpo and one important thing which you have to do uh, over here is if i say this one say I'll, I'll give a table type and i'll say value i'll say ttpo it will still cry still cry what do you say our value of generic table type cannot be constructed it knows that this table type is okay but it cannot be constructed because it is generic one so what is it expecting it is expecting here so this i learned after some error hit and try so no one taught me so when i writing the code so i got an error i tried to google it and then finally i found that it is with header sorry with default key so this is the keyword so look here once you do the diff with default key still crying here let me save this okay let's check what is the error okay i i did a blunder here so i should define this in the table type right not in the data i should have defined it here i was trying to do here see the moment we put it a diff with default key this error is gone let me activate it and the output will be same so what is happening here if if you give a table type then um, it means say i'll write this value without without hash or without hash or pound means the structure is to see st or you see to your structure would be derived from right hand side right hand side table type so here in this case it is tt to all right so hope this is clear first when we had a hash it meant that the type of this structure will be of i type but since we are generating in runtime we don't know what is the type on the left hand side so how it should be derived it should be derived from the table type po dt underscore po and what is the important thing to consider here you should always have with default key all right let's try to activate and test it so let me let me try to show it in the output and now let's test it Okay, I'm only getting the structure. So what mistake did I do? Let's check that. Across this. Okay, okay, okay. That's the problem with copy paste, right? I took care I tab. 
so it should be what run table so if you want to see the run table output you can see this and now let's test it so look here we get the same output so same output so whatever we entered here is coming here but it's taking the table type from the right hand side so the runtime data uh, runtime tables structure is defined with this tt underscore po after the value so this is two two ways first was value with hash and this is value without hash but with a table type 